What's up guys? It's Amanda and I am back today with a new tripod. I got the Manfrotto tripod legs and video head. I got the 502 head and the MT055X Pro 3. That's a mouthful. Um, it's the update to their standard 055 legs that they've had out. Um, they've made some pretty good changes and definitely worth the upgrade and I can honestly tell you you can pick these up cheaper than you can the older version. So all in all, it's um, quite the deal that I think you should definitely take a look at if you're looking to upgrade. I had a $60 sun pack, I believe, um, Best Buy tripod I was using, and it was trashed, so it was definitely time for me to make the upgrade, and maybe it is for you too, or maybe after seeing this, you will just like it and you will want to pick one up as well. These are sold individually, but I did buy them as a lot for one price. Um, they are made so that you can mix and match and get exactly what fits your needs, um, be it that you're shooting video or a photo, and you can just buy one set of legs if you would like and swap out heads. This is the 502 head, which is um, not their cheapest video head, but I did pick it up cheaper than you can individually purchase the um, lower end heads by buying it with this package. I paid about 150 a piece, so that's a really great price. Um, as you can see, this thing is really nice. There's tons of videos on this, so I'm not gonna focus on that, and I wouldn't be the best to provide that information until I've had some time with it. So taking a look at the legs, these are the MT055X Pro 3. This comes in with a max height of 66.93 inches with the center column fully extended. With it lowered, it is 55.12 inches. The thing compacts down to 24.02 inches. It has a weight of 5.51 pounds on the legs, and the legs can hold 19.84 pounds, which I believe is about 4 or 5 pounds more than last year's model. This is also the 3 section, and it is made of aluminum. The aluminum will be a little bit more sturdy. Um, obviously, I'm going to be in the studio, so that's not really that much of um, concern to me because I'm not going to be carrying it with me everywhere I go. I will um, upgrade to a different tripod for photography and traveling and things like that. However, this is made definitely for being smooth and sturdy and stable, and that it does a very good job of. Anyways, we take the legs out here and get these things all undone. Um, I don't necessarily think you'll need the look at the manual. The head, yes, you will. There's lots of gears and things to turn and figure out how to use it, but the legs should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, up here at the very top, this is really cool, they featured a little key that you can turn from the bottom and it locks your tripod head in so that when you're panning you don't accidentally knock the whole thing off and drop all of your gear. Here's a 3 8 adapter and a bubble level which swivels around so that you can make sure you got your thing really level. They've kindly added a 3 8 inch adapter for adding on accessories to your tripod. It features quick lock legs which allows you to just pop it open, slide them in, slide them out, and snap it back down there. Those work really nice. Here you can see the branding Manfrotto 055 made in Italy. So the head is in China, the legs are in Italy. They have a nice rubber grip handle leg warmers here. And if we take a look here, I have to remove this last piece of styrofoam and you just press in and press up and it just snaps right into place. And then you can rotate it 360 degrees to find that exact position you need. It really allows you a lot of freedom. Um, combined with these legs, they do have three different positions that they lock out, and this is in their lowest position, which is just inches from the ground. I believe that most people, once they have their actual camera on there with lens, it's probably going to be touching the ground and be too close, so you're going to have to actually back off. But it's very versatile, very good for somebody that does macro photography or needs a lot of freedom to get into different positioning. Here you will see the leg mechanism. It's a spring-loaded button that you push down and it lets you select which height you want the legs in. You unscrew this knob here and it lets you rise the Q90 up and swivel it around. Um, you can select where you want this on a 360 degrees axis. I would suggest having it more centered um, for better balance, but to stay in the shot, I just kept it in this positioning. And there is the button that you see right there that is the one you actually press to release it. Here, if we take a look at this thing, if I press it in, press it up, flip it around like you're supposed to, it does rotate a full 360 degrees. You pick your positioning and you lock it back down. And that creates a very sturdy structure for you to do in this shot, this angle, this is very supported well at this place. Placement, excuse me. 
um, whenever you put it back into place, there is an actual spot and then this time it goes real smoothly. But occasionally I do have a hard time and struggle with trying to find the groove that does allow it to lower and it causes me a little bit of issues. The legs, again, sometimes do cause me a little bit of issues also. I have read from other reviewers that they are stiff at first, but over time they will be much quicker to uh, release. So I'm not really going to sweat on that right now, but I do want you to take note just in case you get yours and are having a little hard time struggling with adjusting them quickly. Also, on another note, I am 5'10", and this thing is plenty tall enough for me um, without the center column adjusted, which makes it more stable, but this thing fully height adjusted is extremely tall. It's much taller than my head. Again, I'm 5'10", so this is great for tall people. All in all, I think this is an awesome kit if you're wanting to do video. If you're just needing legs, then check out the legs by themselves. I'll have all that linked in the description below, but... If you look at it, if you get it for the $2.99 price, $3.20 price, you're still paying around $150, $160 a piece. And that's a great deal for um, a name brand that you can trust and very sturdy, stable tripod. All in all, I'm very impressed with this at this price. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe so you can stay update with my next videos. And hit that like button. And here's a few little outtakes.